Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have a massive bombshell of a video today from Benny Johnson that you do not want to miss, okay? Benny Johnson is going full MAGA and he just came out and exposed the truth about lying Kamala Harris and also he talked about Tim Walls as well, okay? Benny Johnson just made one of the best moves for Donald J. Trump. If you don't know who Benny Johnson is, he is a young, a very young social media star. He has over 2 million subscribers on YouTube. He's big on Instagram. He's huge on social media. He loves God. He loves family. He loves America. He has almost 3 billion views on his YouTube channel. Yes, B, billion with a B. It's absolutely crazy. He's somebody that I've been following for a while now. He just did one of the coolest things ever. He set up a Trump gas station <laughs> and charged $1.84 per gallon. He is doing so many cool things. He actually went to Butler, Pennsylvania to do a little bit of his own investigative research. He's just a really cool guy. He talks to people on the streets. And so he is really going out there to, you know, he's one of these people, these young social media stars who a lot of people watch him, right, of all ages. And Donald J. Trump right now, you know, with just a couple weeks left, less than two weeks left now, you know, this is really important. Trump is going on the Joe Rogan podcast this Friday, which is going to be an absolutely record-breaking show, probably estimated to be the biggest podcast in history estimated. I mean, I estimate it's probably going to get over 1 billion views. And I think basically, I mean, if you don't watch that interview, I don't, I mean, it's going to be an epic interview. Okay. So, uh, we're going to bring Benny Johnson onto the show, but before we do, we're going to read the Bible and we're going to pray because God comes first. Amen. Comment amen down below. If you believe God comes first, today's Bible reading is Deuteronomy is from Deuteronomy 31, six. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Two people who remind me to be strong and courageous are Benny Johnson and Donald Trump. <laughs> Both of these guys, I mean, I look up to certain people because I'm really into business. I look up to certain people based on their work ethic. Benny Johnson, Donald Trump, these guys have awesome work ethic. J.D. Vance. I mean, there's so many people who are just going way out of their way. I mean, every single day, I'm talking doing multiple rallies. Trump's out there doing multiple events, multiple podcasts, multiple rallies. And Kamala Harris has the audacity to say, oh, Trump's tired. Trump, uh, why is he hiding? Open your eyes. What do you mean he's hiding? <laughs> what do you have a blindfold on? All right, guys, let's bring on Benny Johnson. So here we go. Here's Benny Johnson, baby. Let's tune in. We're out here, Benny on the block. You remember gas prices under President Trump being a lot lower, but how low were they? Well, according to the U.S. Department of Energy, gas prices hit $1.84 per gallon national average under President Trump. That's the price we're going to charge people today at the I-9 Food Mart in downtown Tampa Bay. Now, this is an area that has been hit hard by two back-to-back -back hurricanes. The wow, so he's combining charity and Trump. Can't get any better than that. Look at this. Trump gas prices, $1.84. He's reminding people. You know, this is really cool because he's actually, and this is going absolutely viral on the internet, Donald Trump just shared this video as well. So I don't know if Benny Johnson actually knows Trump or, or not. I, I did actually see them shake hands at the UFC one time. So I do know that they have met. I don't know if they're close friends, but Donald Trump shared this video and it's reminding people, look, this life was better under Trump. This is $1.84 was the price of gas when President Trump was a president. So we were gonna be giving away gas at that price today and see if people wanna make gas cheap again. Let's go. There it is. We did it. Wow. We did it. Yes. I got you. So he like, whoa, look at the lines. Bam. Mean tweets and cheap gas, buddy. Mean tweets, cheap gas. As soon as we flip that price back to Donald Trump presidency pricing, we created a parking lot, shut down a whole city block, and people couldn't be happy. 
check it out. Let's fill up your tank. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. I got you. Here we go. I got you. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Wow. Wow, full service. We love you. I love you. We baby. love you. I love we you. love you. Bless the people who are you. You know what I'm saying? Out here for our fellow Americans. America Ooh, first. Lord, I thank you. We're going to do Trump gas prices today. Trump? Yeah. Trump gas prices. You're not being punked. We're, we're paying for your gas today. Wow. I, I, you know what? I said this a long time ago. Uh, but I've been Trump because he did a lot for me. He did the past. But if it's a Trump price, bro, I'm all for it. Oh my goodness. You are ready to go. Please. All paid. I love it. Thank you guys. Please make gas cheap again. Make gas cheap again. Yes. Make gas, gas cheap again. Yeah, make gas cheap again. Make gas cheap again. Make gas cheap. All these people love Donald John Trump, guys. This is so cool. Know what the hell is going on with this world? Yes. You're going Trump. You're going Trump. Right. I mean, literally, I mean, he about our country. I mean, that's right. Make uh, gas cheap again, and then on top of that, like he was saying, dig it, dig here yep. instead of going. I mean, he a businessman. Yes. I mean, it's, it's literally it. Drill, baby, drill. These people are smart. They know what's up. They know Trump is actually gonna fix our economy. I mean, why would he trust Tim Waltz? The dude doesn't even own a single stock, single piece of real estate, no uh, bonds. He has no retirement account. How would you trust Tim Waltz to fix our economy when you literally got Trump who wrote the book, Art of the Deal? Look how cool this is, guys. Oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Everything cheap. That's we right. need it. Everybody's going through it. Yeah. Everybody need help. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. This is the truth. Benny Johnson is going around the streets and people are supporting Trump, right? Because what do you see? Well, the mainstream media doesn't, won't show this stuff. So Benny Johnson, he has to go out there and reveal the truth. It's the same thing with Trump showing up and working at McDonald's. He says, oh, Kamala Harris said she worked at McDonald's. We found out it's not true, so we gotta go to McDonald's. And the mainstream media, you know, they won't report on that, so I have to do it myself. Like, people like Benny, people like Trump, they're not waiting around for free handouts. They actually go up and show up and reveal the truth on their own. This is Benny Johnson talking about the Joe Rogan podcast let's tune in guys trump event next to a kamala event at the university of georgia look at what happens holy smokes wait what this is at georgia in georgia on the side of the football field and something pretty amazing happened see if you can spot the difference <laughs> the kamala event. okay so there's your kamala event there's like a couple students there got a table got a sign there's like six people who showed up to the harris what's going on over here Amount of people showed up to see Trump compared to Harris in Georgia. Schmoling. These are college campuses that have literal seas of MAGA hats, oceans of MAGA hats on college campuses. Red, red kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, this also buckles into the polls, which have gone red. While that may be an unscientific poll. This uh, is not the chances of winning for President Trump, according to multiple betting markets and multiple pollsters, including 538, The New York Times, USA Today, Rasmussen. So these poly market, these are actual, this is based on people who are literally betting money on who's going to win. And some people argue that people who put bet money on it, those, it's, it's a more, it's like, it's a different angle to look at it, but a lot of people argue that it's it's quite accurate because people are actually putting their dollars on it. Trump is very, I mean, 66 to 34 percent Trump over Kamala. Houston, all showing the absolute hockey stick of President Trump's campaign. Wow. Breaking 66 percent. If Trump hit 69 percent, it's over. It's over. Now you may say, wow, look at this. That looks like a large, large audience there listening to uh, populist messaging about the future of the country. But I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there is a, a much larger audience that is interested in common sense populist messaging, and that would be Joe Rogan's audience. Here's some of the numbers on Joe Rogan's audience. This is why people care about his program. The Joe Rogan podcast. By the way, we do have a fresh confirmation as of today the podcast, guys, a lot of people have been asking, 
it will be released on Friday. Joe Rogan and Trump podcast, sources say it's gonna come out on Friday, so be tuned for that and subscribe because I will be covering it. Experience is the largest podcast on earth. Wow. It has 14 million followers on Spotify. Wow. It has 16 million subs on YouTube. Holy. It has 18 million on Instagram. Apple Podcast, it was the second most downloaded show in 2017, 2018. And it's the top of all popularity charts. So, And you know what's even more crazy than all those numbers, which is great, Benny Johnson, thanks for that, that info. Joe Rogan, these clips are gonna be shared. You know those vertical clips that get millions and millions of views? Like for instance, Donald Trump, he posts these videos on TikTok, you know, they get 30 million views. The, we're talking about these short 60 second clips. This one got 177 million, 164 million, 78 million. You know, by the way, if you take a side-by-side -side comparison of Trump's TikTok versus Kamala's TikTok, you see Trump has 12.3 million, Kamala Harris, only has 6.1. So Trump has now doubled the audience size on TikTok, just putting that out there. But all of the clips that will be shared from the Trump and Joe Rogan podcast, that's where the real numbers are gonna come in. We're talking billions of views. It has a combined audience of, I mean, you gotta, you gotta start saying close to 50 million, maybe more. But at least based on the available numbers, 50 million subs. Yeah, I don't even see TikTok on here or Snapchat. I mean, there's so many accounts too that literally just, they're dedicated to just posting Rogan clips. Like, I mean, this is massive, guys. Absolutely massive. It's gonna break the internet. Now, this makes him one of the, the biggest, most listened to men on earth. With, of course, one exception. There's one man who is a more listened to entity. Jesus? On earth. Oh. And that man is Donald Trump. Oh. <laughs> are you based on the given week and how many people are tuning in and how many, how many, how many corporate media networks are taking Trump live that he definitely has uh, as many, if not more, millions of people listening to him every single week. President Trump, of course, has hundreds of millions of followers on social media. And the two of these men have been friendly. Okay, let's just call it that. Oh, but by the honest be God, by God, Joe Rogan has had his moments with Trump. He's never had Trump on his show. But as you can see here, Dana White, the great man, has brought the boys together. There have been rumblings and rumors about Donald Trump going on the Joe Rogan podcast. The reason why this is important is right here. I used to have a, a TV show on Newsmax. And we really? Get ratings every single day. I did week. not know he was on Newsmax. Did you guys know that? A week. You, you get your ratings. You can get them daily. You can get them weekly. I then, you know, you also then track the ratings for all corporate TV. Everybody cares what CNN is saying and what NBC News is saying. Everybody cares what Fox News is saying. Joe Rogan beats them all. Wow. Joe Rogan, his show by itself, beats the primetime lineups for every single cable news network combined. That's crazy. So this podcast is gonna be bigger than any other TV show that's on the t uh, actual TV. On just Spotify. <laughs> that's how big Rogan's show is. Wow. So there, have, there has been a terror of these two men uniting forces by Libs. Libs have regularly mulled, complained, and had night feverish nightmares about these two men joining forces. And Joe Rogan has repeatedly talked so much crap on Lion Kamala Harris on his show and Tim Walz and the left. Like, the left does not like this, guys. They are pissed that Rogan and Trump are teaming up right now. Kamala Harris, there was a rumor that even she was trying to get in on this podcast show, which I guess, she, I guess they didn't watch the Joe Rogan podcast because Joe Rogan for months and months and months probably years has been talking so much crap on Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and Tim Waltz. Like, I mean, it, yeah, Joe Rogan fans do not like Kamala Harris. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the nightmare is real. Yeah! For Halloween, President Trump and Joe Rogan together on the pod, officially confirmed with the drop date, it's happening. Oh yeah, baby, it's happening. President Trump 
will go on the Joe Rogan podcast this week in just a matter of a few hours. He will be on the podcast this Friday. Joe Rogan, the most listened to man in the world, one of the most interesting men in the world without question. We'll have Donald Trump on. The two of these men obviously have great respect for each other. Here they are, ringside at UFC. President Trump will be recording an episode on Friday. This is massive. I'd love to see Kamala even attempt an appearance like this. An hours long unscripted conversation between two people Kamala would like an even bigger mess than she's already made. Now here's Benny Johnson talking about the whole situation where Kamala snapped at the crowd, at the crowd members who mentioned that Jesus is Lord. And then JD Vance proclaimed that Christ is King at one of his rallies. Let's tune in my friends. The old adage, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. We should believe the campaigns when they tell us who they are. They wow, I didn't realize Donald Trump actually shared this St. Michael the Archangel prayer on his Instagram. That's pretty cool. Been doing this for a very long time, especially when it comes to the things of greatest import, like your faith. Clearly, your faith and your traditions about faith and about uh, the great beyond is going to guide your actions here and your priorities here on this temporal earth. And so when you see Donald Trump posting uh, the archangel, St. Michael, defend us in battle, be our defenses against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Uh, based. Based. St. Michael, the archangel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are in a spiritual battle of good and evil right now, my friends. I mean, if you just take a look at what's going on there, I mean, this is above politics. It's not even about politics anymore. I truly do believe there is just so much evil going on in this world. And, you know, we need to call on God. And, you know, it says in scripture, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is king, right? And when you have Lion Kamala Harris telling people to get out, you know, you guys are at the wrong rally. I mean, take a look at this. Made it, just made it rain, right? Like, why not? You don't need an excuse. Oh, you guys are at the, they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. And by the way, while she's talking about abortion, abortions this and abort, I mean, it's just so strange. And she doubles down too. She doubles down and she goes, oh, you guys need to go to the one down the street. And by the way, she, she's the one who showed up to those students' school. It's like, she's in their home. That's where th those students pay tuition to go to that college. So weird. And the way she leans in like that and her whole crowd just cheers, she's like, yeah, I think you went, I think y'all Christians meant to go to the rally, the smaller rally down the, down the street. Yeah, y'all Christians. I mean, it's, it's weird. This is getting sick. Absolutely sick. Yay! Support of abortion. We love being demonic. We love demons, is what they say. <laughs> Yeah, as they cheer for their abortion. Okay, so uh, in case you're wondering if that clip is 100% accurate, there's actually a firsthand witness to this that was filming with her phone, and you can hear clear as day the Jesus is Lord. When I panned over to the crowd and to her speaking, and I caught something I wasn't expecting, check it out. Not a lot of energy here, but everyone just uh, cheered and screamed for killing babies. So that was... She said that quickly too. Did you got that's what actually creeped me out even more. It was like that was a fast response. Somebody said, Jesus is Lord. She goes, You're at the wrong rally. It was like boom, like I don't even think one second passed. Did you hear that? Some guy in the crowd shouted, Jesus is Lord. And Kamala said, I think you're at the wrong rally. I mean, even the corporate media has reported that it happened. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally, says Kamala Harris. Yeah, calling them hecklers. They're not just hecklers. They're Christian pro-life protesters, okay? Let's be real here. 
Can somebody please report accurate news? There were Christians who showed up who were crying out the name of Jesus when Kamala Harris was talking about abortions. These are pro-lifers. Okay, it's so much more deep than just hecklers at a rally. There is so much more at stake here. Okay, so why don't we compare and contrast that? Somebody yelled, Jesus is Lord at a J.D. Vance rally. I hope people keep doing this, right? Somebody yelled the same thing. And let's see if you can spot the difference between J.D. Vance and Lord. Rhetoric and anti-Christian approach to public policy. I don't think we've, I, I don't think that we've, that's right, Jesus is King. And I don't think that we've seen, We've seen anything like this in modern American politics. It says in Philippians 2.10 that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. There should be more people coming out and proclaiming that Christ is king because it, it is important. It is important. Uh, this clip has gone thermonuclear on our page. 43,000 repos, uh, 219,000 likes <laughs> nearly 10,000 saves she whiz. because people understand that jesus christ is lord take a look here this is catholic vote let's tune in it's the, like the whole point right there have been some very interesting responses to this uh across the internet and when that lady said that he was at the wrong rally that right there let me know hey i gotta speak on this i gotta speak on this because at first i was like back and forth debating with folks about, oh, you know, if you're a Christian, you need to kind of listen in a little bit on some of these policies and, and the things that's going on and all this, you know, just listen in. I'm researching, I'm listening, and I, all I hear is things that's contrary to the word of God as a Christian with this political party, with this party, the demonic, I mean, I'm not, I'm not say demonic party, but the Democratic Party. This is actually at a recent uh, church a pastor talking about this too. Let's tune in. I can't vote for a party that's going to accept transgenders going into women's restroom. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't go with a party that says you can be a boy today and a girl tomorrow. I can't do it. I can't do it. A lot of people are turning against Kamala Harris, you know, for, for many different reasons many different reasons so one really cool thing uh benny johnson brought on donald trump jr onto his show which i wanted to uh share with you because i think it's a really cool podcast let's tune in eric prince is here don so we're talking about security for your father and uh, there's no there's no better man to talk about that way yes we're, we're talking about how to secure a space so that there's no more headshots uh yeah i mean i, I think you know i start by not leaving rooftops uncovered inside 150 yards but that's what do i know well, then handgun range. <laughs> yeah no i mean that's a, that's a handgun shot for some people we know yep. uh yeah no crazy uh, crazy times don you've had secret service protection for have, years yes right so well, I, I don't know no but uh you know I, I did when my father was you know sitting president and you know i know their protocols and let's just say the protocols for me were really stringent and they're far less stringent than they would be for a former president and even less stringent uh, you know for a presumptive nominee and so yeah you know again sean curran the guy that was on there the guy in the sunglasses in the picture great patriot badass in action but i mean definitely definitely something off you know i i i've shot with those sniper teams i'm you know came from a competitive long-range shooting background like I, that doesn't happen it, it doesn't go when people are in the crowd saying hey there's a guy on a roof with a gun for five minutes it's like you know i'm not going to be the guy to start the conspiracy theory because i don't think you need to there's enough sort of out there that I, I, I don't want to be that guy, but as a sort of pissed off son, um, right for the pissed off son. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, that, that ain't right. And I was just saying, I, I, I feel bad for the, the, the hard agents that are out there. Yeah. That are prepared their and there's a lot of them. I, I, I have lifelong friends, guys that I wear on my detail. They're just badasses and they're just to be dragged patriots. down, to be dragged down by people that just don't belong there. That's what's got to change yeah. because there's a the, the, the pervasive culture of incompetence and non-accountability in Washington. And that's that will ruin America. Wow. 
This is so cool, guys. Surely you had insight into this process and how the decision was made. Can you, can you tell us? Yeah, I, honestly, I didn't, I didn't know until sort of the last minute. I, right. I, I felt good, but you know, my father ever plays things close to the vest. It, 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 and with me, he'll make me work even harder for it. So, okay. you know, I, I listen, I just, I saw the chemistry and he's, he's sort of a chemistry guy that I, I knew, I was like, it's got to be the guy, but yet you have so many powerful forces in the deep. They're talking about uh, picking JD Vance, I believe. You see, and that you know, the sort of that those groups pushing to get the their guy, and he's going to be good. And you have the people that sort of you get, they give people information, but they omit the important stuff. They only sort of give you enough information to get the answer they want, not the correct answer. So you know, I'd get a call. Like, what about this? I go, well, did you know this? This? Is a, no, no one told me that. I'm like, of course they're not, because everyone else is on someone's payroll. I'm the only one that doesn't get it to do this shit. I just do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's a it's a little different. Benny Johnson also had Ben Carson on his show as well. And of course, they talked about our Lord. Uh, we see ourselves moving downward. And they say it's always darkest before the dawn. Well, sometimes it has to be pretty dark before people can see the light. I think we're there now. I think anybody with half a brain recognizes that the course that we're on is leading us downward and not upward. And I think we're ready to turn that around. So this is America and we are going to survive. Yes, what a wonderful message. Benny Johnson also had on Alina Haba onto his show and it's, this is really cool. She knows how to trigger the libs unlike anyone who's ever existed. The great, the unimpeachable, <laughs> the spicy Alina <laughs> Haba joins the program. How cool is this? Benny Johnson is so connected. He's like friends with all these patriots. He's friends with Don Jr. He's friends with Charlie Kirk, Alina Haba. I mean, this, Benny Johnson, this is a future, a future, I believe he will have a future in the Republican Party. I mean, he's already doing some incredible things. Team Trump, look at Alina Haba. How epic is that, guys? What is this? What is this drip? Okay. Okay. This wonderful woman, listen, this wonderful woman, I'm in the Trump's, I'm in the store like a fan. Oh, yeah. Hello. And this lady is over here in this jacket. I go, what is that jacket and where do I buy it? <laughs> she reaches in her bag. Deborah from Iowa. She's from your state. Oh, yeah. So Deborah from Iowa reaches in her bag. She goes, take my jacket. I go, no, I'm not taking your jacket. Take my jacket. I go, I can't do that. You can send me a jacket. It's very nice of you. Take my jacket. I go, listen, I'm going to wear your jacket on Benny tonight. <laughs> it is so fire. I'm so ready. And goddamn, I'm sick of wearing a suit. So oh, I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited. Thank you, Deborah. I love my jacket. Team Trump, baby, all the way. Oh, yeah. Trump supporters. I mean, Deborah was probably honored for Alina Haba to wear her jacket. That's so cool. Trump, baby. Oh, ready. Yeah, team Trump. Team Trump. <laughs> I'm getting up here. No, you're getting up here. No way. No way. Who is it? Who is it? Can we get the rap music? Guys, get the rap music? It's Eric Trump, guys. Whoa! Benny Johnson, he's connecting everyone! Entry music. Entry music for Eric! <laughs> I can't play it because for copyright, but they're, I believe they're playing like uh, John Cena. <laughs> like WWE music. This is so cool, guys. He doesn't. I lack rhythm. I've so seen your father like dance. He's a good dancer. I've seen your dad dance. You must have gotten some of those jeans. A little no. bit. A little bit. <laughs> no, says Alina. No. 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 What, what, is, what is this? You got one move. This one. The fist pump. Fist pump. No, it's actually one move. It's called fight, 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 fight. Wow, guys. So, so cool. I just wanted to play some clips. But yeah, I mean, you could obviously go check out Benny Johnson's show. If you haven't subscribed to him yet, highly recommend it. He is on top of it. Benny Johnson, he posts like four or five videos a day and really shows you guys the power of social media. I mean, he was going over Joe Rogan's numbers. This is just on Benny Johnson's YouTube channel. He's posted almost 8,000 videos, garnered nearly 3 billion views. This guy's an absolute powerhouse um, and he's helping Donald J. Trump in a massive, massive way way so anyways guys thanks for watching god bless say a prayer for benny johnson and say a prayer for donald john trump